please, for his highness to wear into battle. You'll be sure to give it to him, won't you? Oh, I'll be giving it to him, all right. So fate has had its way and leaves me here in solitude. My prince goes off to war, and once again I'm royally screwed. Perhaps a Xanax and a half will brighten up my mood. Overhead, chateau, staff pension plan, and your commission. Merci. Merci. <laughs> and this for the little sisters of beaumont sur mer So much. Let's not be greedy, my friend. Except for my brief run-in with that carrot-eating jackal at the hotel. It's been a very smooth season so far. Please. Next to you, the so-called jackal is but a poor little pussycat. I will say one thing for him. You could see he still enjoyed the game. I remember when I was first starting out. How long since we've been running this act anyway? Well, let's see. Uh, at the time, you had just sent 40. Now you're uh, 36, so um, 14 years. Don't you ever miss that sense of danger and excitement? <laughs> no. no. The, the, the fun of making it up as we went along? No. no. Still, there's something to be said for a bit of chaos now and then, the, the thrill of the roller coaster. Be careful what you wish for. Fun is nothing to be taken lightly. My God, you can be a spoiled sport. Well, I am the chief of police. So, who's on our dance card for today? The very wealthy Miss Jolene Oakes of Oakes, Oklahoma. Mm, pretty. Age? 31. Married? Constantly. Money? Her people are in oil. Crude? Mm, she seems a little pushy. <laughs> ah, I believe the heiress is at the gate. Ready? One moment. Breeding is important, but lighting is everything. Send her in. Drain the moat! The prince's enemies have followed me. Oh, your majesty, I bring you this message from abroad. A real interesting broad, too. <laughs> Run that up your flagpole, you lying, cheating, dirty, rotten man. Are you good? <laughs> Hello, Freddy. Wow. 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 All I can say is wow. All right. How much do you want? Ah, put your dough away. I don't... Wow. I don't want your... Wow. What do you want, Freddy? Teach me. Mold me. Make me your clay. Look at this place. It's great! I thought I'd seen it all. I thought I knew the score. But coming here, I found a world I've never seen before. Now I know where I belong A life of taste and class With culture and sophistication Pouring out my ass! <laughs> what do I want? I want this! I want all of this! I thought I had a real gift That Penny Auntie Griff But Freddy's getting ready now To give his life a lift I'm tired of being a chump I wanna be like Trump 200 pounds of caviar in one gigantic lump Give me great big stuff, this is how I wanna live Great big stuff, oh oh no, alternative Great big stuff, I want my silver spoon Don't need it right now, but I better get it soon Hello ladies, how's it going? Looking great I want a mansion with a moat around which I will float With some vast bottom babies in my glass bottom boat A house in the Bahamas, pays with silk pajamas Lunch at the Obamas and dinner with Dalai Lama Great big stuff, I really do deserve it Great big stuff, with servants who will serve it Great big stuff, don't give a damn what it's for Every day's my birthday, every night is my bar mitzvah yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Great big stuff, rap star 
girls to love me. Great big stuff. Get me a posse, I. Great big stuff. Chillin' in the city, sitting pretty in the caddy with me daddy or Puff Diddy or whatever. I'll change my name too. Get my hat back all pimped out. The islands in the winter, the Hamptons in the summer, the fashion plate all day will give me hummers in my hummer. The cash to keep me idle, the chicks to keep me vital. If I were a rich man, I go yadle deedle title. Great big stuff. Nothing crass or crappy. Great big stuff. Oh, that will make me very happy. Great big stuff. I'm gonna get me some really classy stuff. Great big stuff. Like a mink tracksuit. Great big stuff. My own personal Zamboni. Great big stuff. Lots of unnecessary surgery. Great big stuff. I can finally afford to see a Broadway show. Great big stuff. Gout. I just want someone to love me for my money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, what do you say? Freddy, as a younger man, I wanted things too. I longed to be someone remarkable, a painter, a poet, a musician. There was only one problem. I had no talent. I woke up one morning to the frustrating conclusion that all I had to offer the world was taste, a certain charm, supreme confidence, classic good looks. And I realized that day that I would have to use those attributes to create a world which I would never be allowed access to otherwise. Freddie, what I'm trying to say here is, know your limitations. Which are? You're a moron. Hey, is that any way to talk to your favorite student? You realize a I could have you arrested? A ridiculous proposition at best. <laughs> Look, all I'm asking is you polish me up a little. Come on, it'll be fun. I could have you arrested for whatever I choose. Yeah, well, you can throw me in the moat, too. But I don't think you're going to do that either. Why not? Because I've got a big mouth. And a guy like you has already figured out that a guy like me could ruin an awful lot of business around here for a guy like you. You got something to eat? You know, this could work out swell all around. Good for me, good for you. So, are we on? Hmm. You can't be serious! Why not? You can't afford the distraction. A distraction may be just what I need. If it's a roller coaster ride you want, we will take you to the fair. I'll even buy you a pencil. A pencil? They sell these big pencils. I don't know. This is better. Think of the risk. Think of the challenge. He's so deliciously low. So horribly dirty. Exactly. exactly. Hey, guys, I'm still in the room. Way well, Freddy. I'll teach you what I know. Yes! No! no! But from now on, I want you to look in that mirror and see beyond the shallow two-dimensional creature that's there to something finer. Let's begin. It is complete madness. Dress up a monkey in our money. He may seem precocious and cute. Despite all the priming, you still got a chimp in a suit. Spritz him till wet with the old toilet, but you're still gonna get a stunt. Dampen him well with a quart of Chanel. It won't count all the smell, I should know. I'm French. Teach him the second was a swanny. And most of Moon River to boot. Shop people make ape, but you still got an ape in a suit.
So you shave off his fur and dow him with couture and endow him with pure savoir faire. You dressed him up fancy, you trained him to dance, he remains a chimpanzee. But he ain't pretty still. Buy him a dandy little topper, tie on a natty cravat. Buy him a castle, you still have an asshole, and nothing you do can change that. You're still you just a stinky little minky in a dinky, dinky in little a dinky soul. And a cheap little hat. Now, for the next step in your education, tonight you will observe me in action with the Oklahoma <laughs> oil heiress, that princess of petroleum, Miss Jolene Oakes. Hi. Step one, we meet. Ooh. Step two, I woo her. And now, the perfect setting for our final tryst. The wine is chilled, the lights are low, and the air scented with regret as she makes a sizable contribution to the prince's mission and tragically fades off into the night. Sweet. Now, I want you to sit quietly and observe while I play her like a violin. <laughs> Not there. Just go find some place. Yoo-hoo! Maestro, if you please. Ah, Jolene, my dear. Hey, Sugar Pop! Sorry I'm late. I was just buying up friends. Uh, forgive me if I seem distracted. I've just had a bit of bad news from the front. Oh, no! Yes, the losses were quite staggering. They gave me the wrong size. Well, I'll just give this to my cousin Nancy. She takes a 16. If only there was some way I could afford to rearm my men and regain the throne. She's got such a pretty face. I told her if she loses 17 pounds by Thursday, she could be my maid of honor. Maid of honor? Are you meet her at the wedding? Are you inviting anybody? Excuse me, did I miss a scene? Oh, oh. Wait till you see the veil I bought! Jolene! Jolene! When did we decide we're getting married? Remember the other night when you were telling me about the family ring? Yes. And then you said my eyes were like the ocean? Yes. And then I ordered that uh, I stay. Yes. Somewhere in there. Okay, now listen up. I got Daddy's jet picking us up at the airport, 9 a.m., and then it's straight on to Oaks for your bachelor party. Jolene, as you might say, whoa. Oh, that's cute. Now, I should probably warn you that the only fly in the syrup is that my lost couple of husbands haven't exactly been declared legally dead yet. What? Oh, look at that. You're getting all nervous. Don't worry, honey, you're gonna love Oklahoma. It's all so flat and peaceful and flat. We're gonna be so happy. <laughs> Ready? Don't you love her when the bobcats howl? No. Don't you love her when the coyotes cry? No. Well, I know a few tricks with the dirty old sticks. You can watch me blow those little monsters' head clean up. Oh, I know it may seem a little dinky to you after this place, but it's not like you'll be the only royalty in town. Really? There's a Burger King right on the road, and you're gonna fit right in! Oh, meet some of my friends! Hello, boys! Oh, dear God! <laughs> <laughs> 